you hello are you there <laughs> you get to see some of us with body tattoos we want to let you know that we didn't do this for the show this is a very strong part of the culture in the olden days there was nothing to write or record anything therefore our forefathers decided to record everything on the bodies this is the foundation of the culture that designs and represents people, knowledge, spirit, and culture. Yep. Passed on for many generations until today. It is done in a very painful way with no machines, no needles. It's done with the whale bones that dip in the charcoals and then mix the coconut oil and then hammer to the bodies mm -hmm. to record the design. There's a lot of men that didn't survive because of infection and losing a lot of blood. But we do like to say thank you to these warriors for their courage and their strength, commitment to keep the culture alive and pass on to the next generation. Please give him a round of applause. So the living culture continue. The legacy of the past continue to influence our lives today. Living off the land and learning so much about life from my very own mom and dad, working together and helping others. But the only difference in the village is that if you want to date a girl, it's not easy to do because ladies are never alone. Their brothers are hiding. If you want to date a girl, you got to go as mom and dad. If they say yes, then you will go out with her and her brother. If they say no, then you go out with the brother first. <laughs> Find a way to connect with the family. If you ever try to take the girl alone without letting the family know, they will come and look for you. If they find you, then you'll be gone. I have seven older sisters. I've been working hard too. And I think I did a great job because they're still not married. <laughs> But I've been cooking all my life. <laughs> cooking is fun. I was five years old in the jungle when my dad started to teach me how to get the fire started with the method of rubbing the sticks together. That's all we do to get the fire, we just rub sticks. I know you have your own method, so while you flick your pick, <laughs> we rub our stick. <laughs> it takes five hours. Rainy days, we don't eat. <laughs> <laughs> then we go to McDonald's <laughs> and eat chicken nuggets. <laughs> the wood must be very dry. Your two piece got to be the same. Because of the friction, we got to use the same type of wood. The important part, when you start rubbing, please don't rush it. <laughs> you <laughs> you got to go slow until you see smoke. <laughs> then pick up the speed. On the survival show, they didn't slow down. In the beginning, they went like that. As soon as they started smoking, they stopped because their arms tired. I scream at the TV trying to tell them what to do, but nobody listened to me. So I just bought another TV. <laughs> when you sit down to rub the sticks, don't rub too close where you're sitting. You need to lean forward. The reason is you need some weight from your upper body together with your hands and this will help. Also, when you start rubbing, you get the particles in the front. Then that's the part that will give you the fire. So if this move, everything will fall off. And that's why I'm going to sit on it. <laughs> I have to. Right, you want to sit on it? You <laughs> sure? <laughs> Every night you saw it. <laughs> I'll just do it. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I know, but it's not comfortable. <laughs> Go get matches. <laughs> This little piece, you gotta trim it down about a quarter of an inch. If this is too wide, then you'll spend more time warming a lot of space down here. So just, just do this. If I can't do it, then you do it. They want to see it. I don't wanna see it. Do you wanna see it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
This is how we do it. <laughs> this is how we do it. <laughs> do you see smoke? <laughs> Go get smoke machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, windy. Mm. Yeah, get windbreaker. <laughs> you get windbreaker. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Still windy. Still windy. <laughs> No, no more windy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, windbreakers. <laughs> I bet you guys been breaking the wind all over the place. <laughs> Let me know when you see some. Cause, oh, come on. Hmm? You see? Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking at it. Come on! Smell it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, did you see smoke? Yeah. <laughs> That's fire. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see a big fire? Yeah! yeah. Go get some gasoline. <laughs> Very hot. Take it off. No. Ooh. Those guys are looking at me. Tell them to look away. Look away. Oh. You too. Make me nervous. Take pictures. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, this wind. I hope we can see it. Huh? We can build a bigger fire by using the Purungalo. The dried coconut husk. It's flammable, it catches fire very easily. Transfer the burning particles here. I burn my thumb. I burn my thumb. <laughs> this is a pool now. We're gonna try this one more time because this polo is no good. Why if I would like your polo so long, my young man? I might go pull it in. Bobby! Your foot. Those of you that didn't get it, <laughs> we're gonna do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that pool was wet. It's not dry. So that's what happened when you don't prepare the good pool. You depend on other people that don't know how to do pool. Here I am going at it again. Oh. <laughs> 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 
fan of a lima pool again. I There you go. <laughs> Take pictures. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I didn't inhale. <laughs> Mm. Holy smoke. <laughs> Everybody say fire! Fire! fire.
That was amazing. That was awesome. All right, family. You've been sitting all night. May I ask everybody to please rise? Everybody, please stand up. Please put your hands together and clap along. Let's do this one together. Here we go. For our lovely ladies of Chiefs Lua. How about the men? Let's hear for the men. Our solo fire knife dancers, top three in the world. Ome Tobo, our world champion, Ma Lucy Mata. And how about a big hand for the rest of the guys that burned themselves in the front? <laughs> Hope you enjoy that too. Behind the scene, we have some hard working musicians and drummers. Please give them a round of applause. And all the music in the show is under the direction of our music director, Mr. Ula Pula. Hello, Ula. For the ladies, we have our hard working line captain. Let's give a big hand for Po Mai Kai. And for the men, meet the captain, Stevie La Ulu, ladies and gentlemen. Not forgetting the voice of our recording artist, Mr. Singer Powell, with Blue Hawaii, the wedding song, MC, the Hollow Power. And our light and sound technician, can we give a big hand for Kelly Mickey and the group behind, behind the truth? Our chef and bartenders, ladies and men that serve us tonight, please give them a round of applause. Our buses, clothes, our photographers, thank you very much, guys. Thank you so much for being here tonight to let you know we're celebrating our fourth year anniversary of Chiefs Lua. Mahalo for being here, ladies and gentlemen. We do like to make this place our home for a long time. And with your help and support, we'll be seeing you again. If you enjoy yourself tonight, please share the word with others. But if you're not happy about anything tonight, <laughs> please don't say anything to anybody. Just remember we love you. We'd like to see you again. Give yourselves a round of applause. Congratulations. Mahalo for traveling around the world and being here this year. May I ask everybody to please hold the hand of somebody next to you around your table? 